Manchester United has taken three points in two games. In this video, guys, I just want to tell you guys my lineup for Manchester United versus West Ham coming tomorrow at Old Trafford. So, guys, before we start, guys, is it not very good to be home? Thanks for all of you guys who were with me on our stream. In these previews, guys, today I want to do a 10, 10 maximum of 10, 8, 8 or 10 minutes uh, uh, video for you guys because there are certain situations in which I think we need to brain, do some brainstorming here as United fans to see what will be the best lineup for Manchester United against Nottingham Forest. Considering that we have Rasmus Holland, who is not fit yet, considering that we do we have injury here in Luke Shaw, we know also that Mason Mount will not be available. So who do we play? This is one of those challenging um uh previews which i would like to hear from you guys some of you who come here and you know show your expertise which i really enjoy i just want to tell all of you that i really enjoy when you draw these lineups you you kind of help me out also to think but yeah guys before we kick off please make sure to click that like button button share the video with all of you guys for those of you facebook also join the channel subscribe and uh here we go this is just a rough table about our lineup this is not our lineup but i just want to tell you guys something I came back just roughly, how much like roughly 15 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, and I tried to set this up. And this is our new studio, yeah. And uh, so hope you guys like it. Manchester United, we are hosting Nottingham Forest. And uh, talking about Nottingham Forest, United sold a player to Nottingham Forest. You guys might know Anthony Elanga, and um, uh, yeah, and he will be playing tomorrow. He has been having a very good Premier League start for his side. And I think most of you will be looking forward. <laughs> I heard one of you guys. Was it this guy from? Where are you from? I think he's from France. Or some, one of you wrote a, a comment on the channel and saying, Oh, you're so disappointed with uh, the sale of Anthony Langa. He isn't good enough for Manchester United. So who is good for Manchester United tomorrow? Let's talk about that. Look. Last year, United played two games. Zero points. Zero. We qualified for the Champions League. It's, it's quite hot here. Have you guys taken note of something physically? For those of you who watch my video, black. Why? Because I was in Spain for the past four days. I've done four, four countries. Portugal, Spain, Serbia. And now, yeah. So, anyway, uh, Manchester United, we need to start that game tomorrow with full force. And I think, you know, Ten Hag needs to um, uh, try to... To, to, to encourage the players, you know, galvanize the players to show what they're all about, to show what Manchester United is all about and show that, that they can bounce back. Because for two games now, Manchester United haven't really played any good football. You agree with me? We haven't played any good football. So how do we play good football? So you need to get the lineup right. So let's tell you guys what I think. I want to tell you guys directly because uh, Nottingham Forest is not an experienced team in, an, I mean, in, in the worst scenario, United is going to win this game 1-0. Worst scenario. United has a better team, has better players than Nottingham. I mean, even if we were playing there, we had to win. I remember last year we played them in the cup where we, 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 we beat them. We beat them also in the league. We just need to control the game. Talking about controlling the game, this is what I will start with my lineup. I will go with goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, Cameroon International. Um, Onana, in front of him, I will go with Licha. Who will play us? Uh, the two central by Licha and Veran. Standard. On the right, Aaron Wambasaka. On the left, uh, Dalo. I will keep Sanchez. Uh, uh, Al 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 Alonso, the Alonso, the, the, the defender, will be on the bench. The, the guy from our reserve team. He had a very good preseason. I hope he, he, he hasn't been loaned. Uh, he hasn't been loaned yet, I think, so far as I know. The no, two holding midfield, I think it will be a classic. Last year, classic. It will be Casemiro and Ericsson. Draw your lineup below, guys. Draw your lineup below. I want to know your lineup because you guys have, you guys, you guys are, I mean, we have a fantastic small community here. You guys are really good in, in, in strategizing this, these lineups. So our two <laughs> holding midfielders will be Casemiro and Ericsson. I think Ericsson will try to be going, will be going ahead. Casemiro will be holding behind. In front of them, our classic number nine, Bruno Fernandes. You guys will see what I've been telling you guys about Bruno Fernandes and Mount. Fernandes will play very well to the tomorrow. Fernandez will play because he will be the lonely. He will be understood very easily who plays where. So Bruno Fernandez, the central midfielder, on the right position, I would like to start someone else, but uh, 
at this point, I must I must tell you guys that the manager is in love with this guy. I think uh, Anthony will still play at the right position. He hasn't had a good season. Most of you on Facebook wrote me and said, you know, Raph, he's, he's trash. By the way, guys, join our Facebook group. We have a fantastic group, 150,000 followers on Facebook. Uh, I mean, we share you guys' information daily, and uh, you guys also get this contribution. Uh, um, and tomorrow, we'll be doing a watch-along, so come here. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so on the right, we'll go Anthony. Playmaker, I've said already, Bruno Fernandes on our left, Marcus Rashford. Rashford is a player which is the key of Rashford's football is pace. It has never been him being good, keeping the ball. Rashford has been very good on not only hitting on the break, on when we want to play counter-attack. Rashford has been so useful with us. He's also not very bad in front of the post. So I think Rashford... Uh, but what uh, but what Rashford isn't good is is uh, dictating an attack line. I think Rashford cannot be a nine. He he lacks those qualities. You know, a nine is someone who has patience. A nine is someone who can be sixty minutes in the pitch without touching the ball. But those movements he doesn't have. So uh, I think Rashford for me, this is my lineup. Rashford will play at the left. In the right will be Sancho. Sancho will play as a false nine. In my view, Sancho should be used as a false nine. Tell me what you think about this lineup because I think Sancho should be used as a false nine. He will play alongside Bruno Fernandes and Rashford's pace will come. I think and I hope that Ganacho should come in in the second half. After, um, supposedly, yeah, uh, our, uh, our opponent, nothing up for us, their defense will be tired, then Ganacho can come and bring that pace and uh, bring the defense in which we want in order for us to kill the game. So that's where I am uh, with, with, this, with, this, with Ganacho and uh, also the lineup. So tell me what you think below. What do you think about this lineup? And also, what do you think about the scores? What do you think is a, is a better position for United to, pair, to, to play uh, this game? I mean, do you think United is going to lose? Very strange question from Rob Dukan, but I want to tell you guys something, guys. Yeah, smash that like on the video and uh, get involved with the United Way TV. This is what we do here. Yeah. We do content for ordinary fans, so you guys can always um, are free to, to drop your comments, which I will personally do the reply. And uh, yeah, so I think my scores tomorrow game, if we hold the ball, we try to control the game, it will be maximum. Be, I mean, let me be, I think it will be 3-0. I will go for 3-0. 3-0 or 2-0. If... I didn't say they can't score, but I, I go for two nil or three nil because United will want to show some character. This is not we are not in the they are not in the level in which we are. We need to win this game. We need to prepare this game because our next game we are playing against Arsenal. So um, that is where we are in this uh, in this game. So the main person I will be watching in this game, honestly, will be Bruno Fernandez. And uh, I, I, I think we'll be, if we're playing against a low block, it will be difficult. Bruno Fernandes, I think Bruno Fernandes with the passes, Rashford, also Ericsson. Uh, they are setting players in the midfield. This will be a midfield game. Not that their midfield will be difficult, will be very tight, but because United, we need to kick, we need to control the game. And the best way to control the game is for you to keep the ball and try to do those fast transition of the ball. So uh, that's uh, the way I look about it. Uh, I haven't mentioned a player here, which is Holland, right? Uh, Holland, he's injured. I hope he could be in the bench. I really do hope he can be in the bench. If we are winning like 2 0, 3 0, he comes in for like for 15, 20 minutes. So he start, we start integrating him with the team uh, slowly. And I think he will gain that confidence. And also, United, as time goes on, we will be doing well. So, guys, this is a short video, guys. I am tired. As I said, I travel four countries in four days. You need to believe. You need to you, never do that. Never do that. I mean, I have, I'm, I'm speaking to you guys. I'm, after this, I'm going back to sleep because tomorrow, guys, for those of you, our ultras, I will be doing watch along our first watch along in the channel not for the season so guys join our channel please click that like on the video share this channel with all of our fans united channel we do united way tv simple channel we read all your comments we have a massive massive fan base in africa so share it with all african manchester united shop and worldwide fan base as well without all said guys i've gone for three nil talk to you soon bye bye